And then uh, this past Monday, um, the 18th, I believe, Shine dropped his documentary. Mm. The Honorable Shine on Hulu. Um, did you guys watch that? I did. I watched it Monday night. Um, I was really watching it just to see his thoughts on what's going on with Diddy now. Okay. And his, the incident that happened um, what, 20, 2000? 2000? Uh, 2000? 2000? 99, 2000. And yeah. his thoughts on that, looking back now. That's why I was kind of trying to see what, what was up with that. Where? Um, Hulu is known for doing these uh, these documentaries on artists. I do feel like they kind of do rush through things, but mm, I, res- I respect mm. it. But man, they do they rush a lot. Um, that's one. That's kind of <clears throat> one of my notes, low key on on the documentary. And like, right. I don't, I don't delve too much, and I go to Max for documentaries or, for the most part. Uh, and man, yeah, this uh, if they uh, just they, there was a lot, yeah, left to it, be desired. Their documentaries remind me of Lifetime with <laughs> biopics. Like, yeah. bullshit bro. ass, like, random niggas. Just like, bro, I've seen clips of, I'm sorry, because I'm getting off top, but I saw Go clips. Go ahead. They were trying to do, like, a DeBarge movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. They had fat niggas being El DeBarge and shit. I'm like, bro, respectfully. Like notoriously you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying, like, you know, niggas Yeah, it ain't got nothing to ever. do with, like, weight or nothing, but, like, bro, like, she go to bars and all these, these niggas. That's what I'm saying. Pounds, like, that's what I mean. Like, a so, pretty family, bro. What are you doing, bro? What like, are we doing? Oh, yeah, I swear to God, they had one nigga to play three of the DeBarges. Like, nah. Yo, you get you out know what is funny, though, touching on that? Is like, that how they have, like, a, another one I go to for documentaries is Vice. Mm. I like Vice a lot. Oh, they get, they get down. Yo, like, Vice yeah, is real yo, shit. Yeah. Love Vice documentaries. They in the streets, right? for real. But they make me laugh because I watch a lot of, like, the dark side of this and the yes. the wrestling ones or whatever. The, and, right. and in this one, it made me laugh because I'm doing notes or whatever and I'm doing whatever and I just kind of look up and it was during like the, the club scene uh-huh. and I saw the girl they had playing <laughs> J-Lo and I was like, what the <laughs> bro, who is that? <laughs> what? Like y'all got the outfit, right? And the hairstyle, but what the, what Dang. is this, bro? Nah, j And that just made me think like, you know, some like Lifetime shit. Right, like, Yo, bro. What the- like, who did casting for this <laughs> shit? Like, what? It's, it's like, uh, hey, you over oh, there. Hey, yeah. any little light skinned Latina girl. Yeah, come yeah. on. Let's you want to be J Lo? Big tails. Yeah. <laughs> come on. It's two hundred dollars. Be J Lo. Be Selena too. Yeah, no, nah, that, oh that shit was gosh. ass. Nah, um, no, nah, Lifetime. I didn't think the documentary was ass. Uh, yeah. Just rush for sure. Like I'm with you. I'm yeah. with you. I felt like more time, maybe a little bit longer of a doc too. Um, maybe. Give me, an extra yeah, episode. give me two parts or something, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, extend the story. Like They were there, more. and then they just jumped years, and then they went back. Like, it right. felt like. Well, and it was crazy, because I saw the runtime on it was, like, an hour 40. So right. I was like, oh, we about to really mm-hmm. get into it. Yeah. Like, we about, let's let's go. And right. then, like you say, it's, an hour 40 is a long time, man. Yes. Mm-hmm. And for you to, like, to be done with that hour 40 and be like, all right, one of my main things. For one, I thought it was weird that, like, obviously you have to go back to the time, right? And it, I, the the main thing that I took from the documentary, which is very like personal and selfish, but like it was cool for me because this was my junior through like senior year of Damn, high school, sophomore yeah. actually sophomore through like senior year of high school. All this was going. That's when Sean was starting to pop. Right. So it took me back to that, which was cool. But it also takes you back to, like, they had to talk about how Bad Boy was on top of the world. And there was a lot. They spent a lot of time, like, propping up Diddy and how Puff Daddy was this and that. And he was that guy. And everybody wanted to be with him. But And I get that. But, like, to really, like, lean into it, how they did, despite how they closed out the, the documentary, that made me feel weird just the whole rest of the way uh, watching mm-hmm. through. But also, like, <clears throat> oh, yeah, that was another note. J-Lo's mugshot was crazy. <laughs> Yo. Oh, J-Lo's yeah, 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 yeah. J-Lo mugshot Yo. was crazy. That shit was nuts. That was crazy. <laughs> was just woke um, up type shit. Like, yeah, you're like, oh, Yo. <laughs> damn. Uh, I, never knew that, I never knew about the Brandy beef. Never knew that either. Same. Never knew yeah. that. That was news to me. Uh, never knew about the internal beef with Junior Mafia. Never mm-hmm. knew that. Yeah, they had a, a fight. <laughs> Excuse altercation me. Altercation too. Yo. Yeah. 
Um, bringing back to like the time, I I remember the main thing. I, this is you got to remember too. Like this is back when you got your news through watching TV or the paper. Or I, I if if I was able to hop on Twitter back in the day or TikTok back in the day and have somebody break down the trial every day for me, man, you know, like so I didn't really, and it's all the way in New York and yeah. da, da, da. I don't really know what's going on. So what I take from it is when I'm on MTV or BET and you see Sean walking out the courtroom with the big fitted on well, yeah. with a full suit yeah. on, yeah, yeah. And but an oversized ass <laughs> fitted on uh-huh. for real no low reason too. at all. Real low. Yo, that was my whole style <laughs> through like, yo, couldn't tell me nothing. Tall, light skinned, skinny kid with no facial hair. Yeah, what? Yeah. I'm pulling it all the way down. <laughs> and I can't see nothing. Um, that was one. It it it's kind. <coughs> excuse me. It's kind of funny to 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 see like how full circle things go, where like you see like the young thugs and the little dirks and all these drill rappers now and all these guys trying to be like so authentic about what they rapping, and like Sean was doing that twenty five years ago, what? low key. But I also thought it was kind of funny that, like, like I the biggest thing I took from Shine as a whole, from that whole documentary, was like, yo, this dude, A, comes off to me as, like, a huge code switcher. Because there were times I couldn't even tell who it was talking, and it was him. Mm. He, 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 he's really adaptable to his situations. He's easy to code switch. He's going to talk to you one way in a certain tone. He's going to talk to you a certain way in a certain tone. Mm -hmm. He's going to talk to me a certain way in a certain tone. That was really weird to me, but then, like, if you want to go deep on it, just his whole upbringing and dad and parents and all that and uncles. and So it's like it kind of struck me as, like, somebody who just was trying to fit in and find something for himself his whole damn life and bouncing all over and nobody wanted this and that, 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 that. Puffy ain't even want him at the end. Like, that was kind of crazy, too, how that went. That Puffy was, like, turning his back on him and stuff. Like, it just felt like somebody who was looking for somewhere to fit in. And that kind of bummed me out about it. The circling back to Diddy and where he kind of is now, that was weird Yeah, to me. It It almost had, like, its own uh, emission to where... They put the words on the screen of what happened with Diddy's yeah, situation now. Yeah. And then they had him sit down. Like, they had to, like, re-record this. It was weird. It just... Yeah. Everything, everything surrounding Diddy felt weird in the documentary to me for the most part. Um, and then, yeah, just... I thought we were going to get more about prison. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Same here. I, I knew the religious stuff. Everybody kind of knows the religious stuff because yeah. he was out and it's well, documented. I want to know, like, what... What happened in prison that led you there, that brought you that, other than wanting to feel safe? Like, I wanted more of that kind of stuff, and I just kind of left feeling like, yeah, all right. They barely even touched on the album he did from prison. Bro. Yeah. Like, you know, it's just, it was was weird. Yeah. It was um, weird. I'm I'm with you. I think uh, for one of the first first things you said, um, as far as, like, the way that they were bigging up Diddy, Mm. And, like, I don't want to, um, I'm not trying to kick for this nigga. I don't know this nigga. But I think that that was strategic. Mm. I think that, I think that, um, I think that basically everything Diddy related was all strategy because you could tell that it was filmed pre lawsuit. Yo, absolutely. And then post lawsuit. The, you the could editing, tell. yeah, you the editing tell. was wild in there. And, and, uh, I, I thought about this a lot because I heard I heard this argument on another pod and I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I don't know. I don't know necessarily what I do, but can you imagine putting yourself in the shoes of you? You have an incident and you with your man and you tell like you. That was the thing that got me was like, I didn't know that he was saying like I did not shoot that girl in the face mm-hmm. like he mm-hmm. did that shit. He also had a gun, blah, 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 blah. blah. And then for him to maneuver separate lawsuits, separate lawyers, separate blah, 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 blah. Now you, the only one that gets the charges, you go to prison for 10 years and then deported immediately. And then you're not getting calls no more. Not you're only not that, getting, 
you're chasing him down, and yes, he has so much clout, he gets the lawyer that you have defending yourself to flip on you essentially 100%. and go against you, which is so crazy. But <laughs> but what 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 I think is is like what? How long do you? Does everybody just say like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna fight for my innocence to the day that I die, no matter what. And even though that person ends up becoming <laughs> billions up and becomes like a mogul and becomes, he was already powerful, mm -hmm. but he even becomes even more networks, labels, clothing, people, clothing, liquor. He's connected. Hollywood. He's connected basically in every way you can possibly be connected. Now, if you are now, do you? Because uh, like uh, I think too, like I I do like that he said like. I felt like he was taking accountability for what he did. Cause like he didn't switch up on his story of like, yeah, my man had a, my man was about to pull out a gun. I'm not going to yeah. be like, yo security, whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I have to take action, but I wasn't the only <clears throat> one that was taking action. So that's, 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 that's one thing. So, but if you see for 30, well, not 30 years, but like for 20 years that mm. this dude was able to get away with this shit, plus other shit that, I probably know a little something about. I'm. St I know stories because I was in the industry, so I know Mace told me on the side, like, "Yo, he was tripping the other night." Yo, Come on. Lil C's. Yo, he was tripping Come up. On. Yo, he's doing this. Blah 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 blah. And then how long do you? And and then you for twenty years you watch the world, not talk about it. Not, mm. And if it does get brought up, you don't believe it. And it's everyone's alluded just like, to or it's joked about, but not directly. Never. And it's all like, no, we love Diddy. This dude is a media darling. Nigga changed his name to love. To love, right? And had everybody <laughs> going like, yeah, like, like that's fine. You see what I'm saying? Like, do you still, uh, especially if you have the political aspirations and you have mm. something to get from, you can get a little bit of money if you show up at the BET Awards, if you show up at a bad boy reunion or whatever, Okay, maybe I could get some bread. Maybe I could, unfortunately, use some of that connections too with him. Yeah, and I could at least try to get some sort of get back. Do you say, "Hey, uh, Diddy's on the phone with you. He wants you to come out to New York and do this." Fuck him. Fuck all that shit because he did this in X, Y, and Z. I'm not at that place no more. When I was 19 and I'm locked up in prison. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, After it's After you wouldn't Diddy. post bail for me either, you my guy. Yeah, oh. like, yeah, it's fuck Diddy. But 20 years later, I'm a grown man. I'm a father. I'm trying to get my, my life right, blah, 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 blah. Maybe you don't go back to those emotions when you were 19. Maybe you think, hey, you know what? The world didn't fuck with what I said. It is what it is. Okay, I can't cry about it. All right, cool. If this is what we're doing, we're just rocking with him, even though he did crazy shit. All right, cool. I'm a all right. I'm gonna rock with him too. At least on the low, I'm gonna just do my appearance. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I mean? Maybe you know, hang out a little bit. He comes to Belize, and then we move forward. But then, mm -hmm. shit comes out. Mm -hmm. Now you're in a position of, I mean, I actually was rocking what he, what he said because he was like, I mean, I told y'all <laughs> what he did. Yeah. I didn't switch. I told y'all in 99, like, this nigga shot this girl, blah, 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 blah. And the girl and, said it herself, too. And the that's girl what he was like, said it. And he, doubled back. Doubled back. They showed yes, the clipping yeah. of her saying it. Like, so yeah. he was like, hey, I'm just glad that the girl, the victim actually said it. Like, I'm glad that y'all are believing what what the girl said. You know what? Now listening, listening, listening to Hoodie, <laughs> all right? <laughs> Let me say something though, because like, it's wild that Hulu or whatever production company or whoever was behind it wouldn't be like, you know what? Let's pause this. Word. I'm with you. Word. The editors send it back to them. They get it. They watch it and they say, man, this is. <laughs> this is kind of cringy a little bit here. Like, we got Sean. We're trying to. Tell his story and, and make him look, you know, and like a reclamation project and all that. True. And here we got him with this dude who was, we were worried about fleeing the country. Right. And who well, people are trying to get into hit to be Sally's with him and all this stuff. But, and that's what I mean. Like, that's crazy that you wouldn't have the presence of mind to be like, mm, you know what? We have enough footage. Maybe let's go back and redo some of this and kind of take some more of the ditty out. True. 
But also, like, the money, we sitting here talking about it. Yep, right. Everybody's yep. sitting there talking about it, which means eyes are going to it. Yep. For whatever reason. They might not give a damn about Sean. There's a lot of kids that don't know who the hell Sean is. True. They know who Diddy is, though. Yeah. yeah. And they're going to sit there and watch that because they heard Diddy's name in it and Diddy this and Diddy right. that. And his, his attachment to it means that they could get a little bit of bread because he has <laughs> one of the notorious Diddy stories. So... Instead of scrapping it and waiting, they're like, yo, like this is hot right now. Mm. If we wait, it Dirty. might be until the trial, which would be, you know, 2026. Absolutely. Yeah. Nah, I don't want that Hulu. You know, they're like, nah, let's, let's get, get it now. This. Yeah, let's get it now. Let's get it now. You see what I'm saying? Like people, his name is in everybody's mouth. He's hot right now in a, in a bad way, but he's hot right now. Yeah. Let's tell this story now and Damn. like, let's get it out and we make some money. We get eyes to Hulu. I, I watched it. I started to watch it Monday night. Mm. Finished it Tuesday, and on Monday mm. when I went to sleep, it was number four. Mm. Tuesday afternoon, I finished watching it, it was number two. Or, like just overnight, it jumped up two spots on <laughs> on most watch. Yeah, on Hulu. So like it's it's, it's, it's doing numbers. Yeah, the, it's getting there. Story. No matter what the it's, the reasoning is, like it's getting there. I th- for the for the the last thing that you said about like. The co- well, I agree with you 100% on the production of it. I think Hulu, you know what I mean? They're going after the money. They want the story. I think um, I'm, I'm with you, too. I would have liked to have seen a lot more of the 10 years in prison. Not mm. see it, but Just hear, hear from about it. it. Yeah, anything. Um, but I also, my immediate thought process is this is, it's Hulu trying to rush a production. So they're asking for input, and they're like, we got to consolidate your story. Because you got, mm. you know what I mean, 30 years of kind of like a story, right? And he's a politician. And I mean, Barely got and, anything on that either. But I think he, I <laughs> think I think that I I felt like, oh, he's politicking, like, let's rush through this. Let's not touch on this a little bit. Because, I mean, like, I'm in the public eye of my country now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I can't, yeah. like, get into the, yeah, I was fighting niggas in the, in the showers <laughs> and shit like that. Like, slipping on semen, all types of shit. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but, but that's my thing is he could have he you know taken that and, and twisted it. Word. And turned it. 100%. I agree. And into, I like, a, a very powerful, like, influential, like, overcome. Yeah, yeah, look yeah, at what yeah. I've come. Look at what I made Word. it through. Well, because I the 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 thing is too is I do believe I do like the story that he has of finding himself again. I yeah. feel like mm-hmm. that's amazing. Mm-hmm. It's just if you're looking for the documentary to make you feel that, you're not gonna get it. Absolutely not. Like knowing his story, you kind of you you know what I mean. Like we'll be able to piece it together. Yeah, but I don't felt like he gave enough emotion to it and really like bore his soul. And maybe that's a part of like moving on. Maybe. maybe you see yeah. what I'm saying? Like he's in his forties now. Maybe. Maybe he can't tap into that because he's just like, I'm not there no more. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to lead a country through like fucked up shit. And you know what I mean? And now with the Diddy shit out now, after however long niggas is actually listening to me. You see what I'm saying? That's, like, that's the part I think that, that has a lot to do with it for him. Where personally is like I feel like it it works in his favor to have it released now to like not obviously not clear his name because he did the time, but right. at least maybe for him like carrying it around yeah. to be like, yo, I got this out, like you said. Now people are finally seeing what a demon this dude is. <laughs> like, I had to give up, you know, almost 10 years of my life to this. But <clears throat> at least we're here now. At least people are finally seeing the truth. At least I can maybe sleep a little bit better at night with it. Uh, but I would have liked to hear that. Yeah. yeah. How much, you How know much? what I mean? Like, I don't yeah. want to hear the chatty-ass bodyguard. Yeah. Bodyguard wanted to tell every little story he possibly could. Bro. Bodyguard couldn't wait to have that mic put on him. <laughs> well, he probably got a check. That's why oh, he was happy. But he was, nah, tell. that's a chat yet. Oh, no, nah, that nigga was ready to. Yo, we could have had him in here and given what, what, that nigga a slice of want? pizza and a bottle of Costco water, so, bro. Yeah, I saw Diddy's ass walking you through the bathroom. Like, he uh, was ready to. He just wanted. He was so wanting to feel like the man in front of that camera. He couldn't wait to tell. Right. 
Oh, I, I did, but that's my thing. Like, okay, I, my the last thing I say about it is this, mm-hmm. right? So, it, it the, the also the second to last thing. Sorry, because the government part mm-hmm. again, which wasn't touched on a whole lot. No. The main thing I took from the government part though was like, yo, one, I would have liked them to ask the question. Nigga, would you even be doing this if? Because let's not let's not get it twisted. The only reason he's there is because he got deported. Yes. You didn't have any other option, my dude. You had to go back to Belize. You that that was it. So would you even be in this position? Like, would you even be messing with the politics like that if you weren't back here? No. Would you care about your country like you do now if you weren't forced Ooh. to come back to it? No. But that was never, you know, and that's not. Again, that's not this type of project. Yeah. This is more of a puff piece, reclamation, make him look good project, so I understand why they didn't get into that. But his whole political career is based off of nepotism because his pops just came in and basically low-key like kind of nudged the nigga out the way right. that Sean was running against and going for his position. He was kind of like, hey, for the greater good, why don't you go ahead and step to the side and let right. my son come in here? Because his pops is a well-established politician out there already. Yep. has been. And his, and his uncle. And his uncle. And so his uncle. that was kind of yeah. weird to me that it was like, oh, we're not going to reference the fact that, like, he was just given this position, basically. Like, mm-hmm. almost like Loki, like Trump. Like, they, not, they not had a, just the way that it was acquired, you know? Yeah. Like, it's just like, it's a weird, no political background, no nothing. Just, hey, man, get out the way. Let my son come in here. Family right. business type shit. Right. Mm-hmm. You could you could um, tell. You could tell, like, every time they try to say, like, he did the work and all that kind of stuff. That's it. I feel like that's a natural thing, a part of the politics is like the niggas that are actually getting their hands dirty. Mm-hmm. They're not the ones that get selected to do that type shit. It's, Oh, this old buddy is homeboy's cousin. And yeah. And, yeah. And he was a big rap star in the United States. <laughs> right. Had involved with one of the biggest stars of the world. You know what ever. I mean? Like, yeah, it's, nah, it's, nah, come nah, on. Nah, nah, nah. People are going to send money down here to Belize and all that stuff because they know he's da 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 da. Hundred percent, and uh, and a lot of people have with his, you know, like, what I mean? his involvement. Hundred percent, and yeah. more will now because now they know. Word. Right, right. uh, now that they've watched this, mm-hmm. but the last thing is is just like it bothered me that I the editing again. So they ended it with like the Diddy stuff, mm-hmm. but like then he says like, "Oh, I'm a man of character, honor, and integrity." And I want to show, like, everyone that you never have to or never should sacrifice those things. And in my head, I'm like, nigga, you sacrifice all those things, bro. Like, what are you talking about? Look at who you surrounded yourself around. Like, mm-hmm. and not not on no, like, like, like to in the, your in the point. political way? In the beginning, yeah, you don't know all this stuff about Diddy. You're just a 19-year-old who's been in the country for seven years. Or, like... You're going to chase that money. But once you know all the things you know, you hear all the stories you've heard, you've seen behind the curtain more, Daddy's house, you was really calling the recording studio Daddy's house. It was crazy how many times. Come on, that was said house. in the, that was, I was oh, calling yeah. Daddy's house trying to find Yeah, try to call Daddy. Daddy wouldn't pick I, up. I thought my hearing was like. Nah, like, bro. Did he nope. say that really? Yeah, I like, sure did. The bodyguard was saying Daddy. The shine the, said it. Our, uh, Lil C's talked about it, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. but Even, if you, uh, Clark Kent, if you RP. know or you see all that, and you kind of have that feeling, like, yo, I did ten years for this dude, I don't care, yeah, like I don't care, and not only, like I said, it's the ten years I did, I did a bit for you, like, yeah, I get, I can get over that, maybe, maybe we could have a long enough talk, you could say some stuff, get in my ear, I can, I can personally do the work and get past that, but like, yo, if it's that, and then I'm hearing about the sexual assault stuff. I'm hearing about rape stuff. I'm hearing about uh, the Justin Bieber and Usher stuff. All like, yeah. just all the countless stories that you're hearing, and you're still like, all the way up until what was it like? When did they show footage up until like 2021 that was two years or ago. 2022? Yeah, two years ago. Come on, man. You know all that. You suspect all that, but you still rocking with this dude. I don't. I just. I had issue with that. Ending it that way to have it be like the honor and tech and respect. Like that's you didn't to me, he didn't showcase any of that still rocking with a dude like that, a dude that you did ten years for, that turned his back on you, and that has all these why man, when Diddy got arrested, this wasn't the first we heard of him being a weirdo. Mm. 
Like you said earlier, we all been knowing that. I, I, I didn't I, that really bothered me mm. that really bothered me and to your point <laughs> it's me, hey man you're a better man than me dude <laughs> you 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 were able to look through all that Word. you were able to see past all that me I couldn't do it I couldn't do it ain't no honor in rocking with Diddy for me ain't no integrity in rocking with that man two years ago with me if I know some weird shit about you for 20 years I ain't rocking with you for 20 years. And, that, and that's why I was shocked when he popped out for that BT Awards uh, kind of bad boy. Changing the lyrics reunion up. Reunion yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was. Um, even watching, <laughs> yeah, even watching that live, I was like, oh, shit. Like, so I, I, like, I was shocked. Like, yeah. Sharon's there, but I was like, dang, you like, forget him like that? Like, well, let me. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's hard because I know that, I know that hindsight is twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. Hindsight is twenty twenty, and you can look back and you could be like, "Oh yeah, like it's easier to yeah to make a decision and make that kind of um, you know, and like no, like oh, I wouldn't fuck with what this kind of shit, this kind of shit, this kind of shit." I think I think what's underrated is when people have power, people are able to um, people are able to really make you doubt yourself and doubt reality. And I feel like that's a big part of why people can, um, people can rock with people that really are fucked up. I think that's a, I think that's a part of it too. Not now, some of these niggas for sure, like they are, they are in the know. They were there holding the camera. You, let me get a turn. All kinds <laughs> of shit. Pass me that oil right there. No, or, some of those niggas are are there. But I think, I think that when people he, hear things, because it. It's all part. it's all hearsay, obviously. But it's a it's a part. What what's a part of it is because they know that Diddy knows that people are going to hear things, and if you're mm-hmm. in the industry and all that kind of stuff, but you never see it. And what you do see now, mind you, and not in Sean's case, but what you do see is he sent flowers. Oh wow, he told me. Oh man, I'm I'm really oh, sorry public, about your the loss. The public image. I'm so you see what I'm saying, and like you think like, oh man, I'm kind of fucked up. Diddy, let here. I'm gonna send you 20 stacks. Hold it down. Don't even get it back to me. Blah 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 blah. And then, but that's used to fuck you up, because when it comes time to all this shit is out. Hey, but remember when I gave you that 20? Remember when I gave you that 20? Hey, remember when your bro- when you lost your brother, man? Who was there? Who paid for the funeral? Hey, remember when you see what I'm saying? Oh yeah, no, and, they hold it, it over you. And it's, I feel it's like a tool. And yeah. it, but it fucks it fucks with you yeah. mentally because it you you have to question reality now. Because now you're thinking like, wait, but but that's, what is real? What is that's really my not? whole point, right? Is that if you go through all that with somebody, right? And then right. he come back to you in 2021 and they hit you up and they're like, Hey, why don't you come to the BET Awards and rock with this dude? Yeah. And your question is, well, when and how much? Yeah. Because I assume that's what it is. Yeah, that's 100%. the next step. Because my first initial would be like, the the who now? With who? <laughs> I'm good, bro. <laughs> I was I only dropped one album on Bad Boy. Sure. And I had to have my manager put his house up to bail me out because the dude you want me on stage with wouldn't. Thing. Right. And then I had to finish the album on my own because <clears throat> he wouldn't answer at daddy's house for me to even finish recording the album. Word. So that one album you want me to do the biggest song of up on stage with that dude. Word. Now I'm straight click. I'm going to kick it down here in Belize. Keep your little Belizean flag behind <laughs> me. When I change the lyrics, one of the biggest hits of my life. Word. I'm what cool, you- bro. Like there's no honor, integrity, and I damn sure don't respect that. Right. You know what I mean? Like I'm good on that, but you can miss me with that little message here at the end. Mm. You guys good off it? Good off of Shine. I never thought I'd say that. Damn. <laughs> Used to be my guy, man. Oh. And we could like I don't know this is kind of like a random question to ask, but like before this, all right, how did you get uh, where does Shine rank in your bad boy uh list, maybe? Low. Low? Yeah, man. He had one album with like Four hits on it. I fuck with Sean, man. I do. And that's <laughs> yeah, the thing. Like, that's what I'm I saying. I love Sean. I do too, man. Yeah. But like, I mean, like, yeah, he's like, he's there with like Black Rob and G-Dep and yeah. like, damn, you know, like, 
Uh, I mean, he's better than Gorilla Zoe, but like, you feel me? Like, I, I hope so. I mean, but like, I'm okay. Like, one twelve is ahead of Shine with Bad Boy with me. Yeah, yeah. Faith I mean, is ahead of Shine with Bad Boy with me. Yeah, you like, got a lot, and obviously you know, you have there's, a, there's a crazy I mean, roster. Yeah, it, it's it's a very it's, that's the thing. The locks. Insane, right? So when you look at that's what I mean, like the locks. What Mace? Come on, yeah. we're all no. Nah, he's he's lower. He's lower on the list. But I think, but that, the list is long. I think that's part of it too. Is that sure, there's such a deep sure. talent pool too to choose yeah, from. Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, you gonna to, make me man look. You gonna make me next. <laughs> that, that's top five. We're gonna do bad boy artists. <laughs> all right, yeah, I like that. <laughs> that's that's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But like, I think, um, I think for bad boys, total amount of like history and artists and all this yeah. kind of shit. You see, what I'm saying like you got you got a lot. There's a lot of talent there. But what I would say is, it's one of the bigger what ifs for me in mm, as far as for like sure. for sure rap goes. And I'm not even talking about cause like I feel like a bigger what the bigger what ifs are related to death. Yeah. Yeah. Biggie, big L. Some your of these Pox, dudes. You're all you see, these you guys. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like those are different. Those have got to be up there. Up. You try to slide Big L in there ahead of Pac. Man. Hey, 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 I'm not yeah, Pac. I fuck with it. Uh, you know I don't fuck with no Pac. Uh, <laughs> rest in peace, though. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I, I like that Big L respect though. Like, yeah, 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 hell yeah. But you, you know what I mean? Like you got a lot <laughs> this of. This fuck with Pac. Got, rest in <laughs> peace. <laughs> rest in peace. Put though, that you know on what TikTok. Man. Man. Shout out to his family. You know what I mean? But I'm sorry for your loss, but um. Most of his songs are ass. But seriously, though, <laughs> no, like, let me try to focus. Um, uh, I can never focus again after I that. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> um, damn, I forgot what I was even saying. That bro. might be like, better <laughs> after what just came out your mouth. I <laughs> oh, my God. No, but I, I, I think on what ifs wise, like, without, you know, like the big, big, big ones. Absolutely. Where it's just like circumstantial and all that kind of stuff. Like, I feel like that is. Um, that's a story, cause like I, you you literally have everything gone in a night, everything changes. You see what I'm saying? Like that's crazy to me. Like someone who's just like on the rise, sign, about to have an album drop, boom boom boom, and then done. And what if what if Jay Z co-signed the man instead <laughs> Yo, of? Yo, that uh, was wild that yeah. Jay Z no, just said nah. me like that. <laughs> Nah, I'm good. I do. <laughs> and drove off. And then spun the block on him. was like, oh, wait, wait a minute. Actually. I did like wild. that story, though, where he was like, yo, you got your gun on you? And niggas was like, bro, what? Bro, that was asked, hilarious. He was like, what do you mean? Well, you got your. That what was you going to do, bro? Like, what you mean? But he was like, nah, like, if you don't like this shit, like, you could shoot me. <laughs> I was like, that was, damn. Yo. That's some B Rabbit shit right there. Like, that's like real, like, love and dedication. Like he was me, trying to get signed on the spot. Let me just give you a couple, okay? What? 112, mm. Locks, Mace, uh, no disrespect, uh, Shine and Carl Thomas are kind of neck and neck with me. Nigga, <laughs> 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 uh, nigga, n- 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 uh, ahead of Shine, and I ain't even, I ain't even, I am not bullshitting. Young Jock, man. Damn. Wow. Give me Young Jock. He was bad boy. Uh, yeah, yeah, Lil Kim, R&B. give me Lil Kim. Yeah, Kim is. Uh, total the old R and B group. Total Black Rock. Like there's your boy MGK was bad boy man. I right. know that's got to be your number one bad boy artist ever. Nah, but <laughs> did, did, was was he ass on bad boy? Is that what it is? He was trash on bad boy, huh? Cheeks. <laughs> Go ahead, say it. <laughs> nah, that was good, man. It was great. <laughs> MGK, here, legendary Respect run. To his family. Uh, <laughs> hey, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Like French. Gotta be above French. Him too. Another one was French. Like about Red Cafe, no, no. <laughs> Look, man, if we're no. talking about battling, maybe no. Yeah, uh, respectfully, no. But, but yeah, yeah, there's it's a deep roster, man. Yeah, mm. and uh, you wouldn't. Sean, I think I think that is I I think I think Hoodie's right, man. That's a big, that's a huge what if. He he probably should have been one of if that didn't happen. Mm. Yeah, man, he's. A lot of changes. A lot, oh, yeah. lot of changes. Uh, he even vehicle, said it though. That yeah, was 100%. that's what was crazy. That was a crazy part to me. When he was like, I don't, who knows, like if fifty, if Jake did like there was a whole list of people that's like, damn. Yeah, what if yeah. he's right? Or, like maybe he's right. That if the, he never like, you know, the game, he's like, What if all these dudes these dudes sure. wouldn't have even it wouldn't have been the same if I hadn't have gone away. Yeah, it changes mm. the the whole 
the whole landscape. I think that with Puffy's vehicle of bad boy at that time, the way that Puff can market you. Dude, to have like a shooter, in, yeah, a real life shooter on Puff's team. And then 99, we're like, I'm saying like, there's so many things that is also happening right now too. Because like around that time too, like. 99 is when stuff was finally starting to kind of, it was starting to simmer more mm. with the whole, because we're still coming out that East Coast, West Coast. Right. Like, and X is already out. Like, that's X Rough is Riders like, is now. The East Coast was in charge crazy. <laughs> during that the, time. Crazy, crazy. East and then, Coast was stomping on us crazy. Bad boy to come in with, like, a young, hungry artist like that. A guy that the, you can market as this dude is, he is X. Word. He's, he, he has the rap sheet with him. Mm-hmm. It's not like Puffy saying he going to shoot you. We know right. you. We know you gonna dance, nigga. <laughs> we know you don't have shooters on the roster. That's the whole thing. Like bad boy shiny suits. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. that was the whole. That was that was shit thing. But that's you know? a part but of. That's the part of. He would have marketed that brilliantly. Word. He'd have put him up there in them oversized ass fitters and <laughs> yo. Good old hopping like, and skipping around the stage and. Yeah, as, as he's, he's rapping gangster shit, then he would have been in the background <laughs> take doing that, a take running man. Take yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. <laughs> take that, yeah. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Damn, that's crazy. Now you know right. what he meant after all these years by saying take that. That's crazy. Come on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Sorry, that's that's <laughs> edit that oh out. God. We talking about edit, edit that out, please. Oh, shit. Yes, dude. Oh, my God. Also, uh, honorable mention, too. Uh, for best bad boy acts, uh, the band, of course. Oh, mm. shout out the band! <laughs> One of the greatest seasons of making the band. Mm-mm-mm, my boy Fred, hey, that, yeah. <laughs> that's some real gutter that boy. Nigga was hard. Pause. <laughs> Ready to fight, man. Ready to fight everybody. Some of the greatest yeah, fights bro. on on live TV. Yeah, bro. I loved it. I loved every minute of it. Hey, yeah. shout out Day 26, though, all right? Day 26, too. Uh, I hope you guys and, are good, man. And what was Danity the girls? Kane? Danity Kane, yeah. yeah. Get, uh, all of them. My girl Aubrey in there, too. Ooh. Aubrey O'Day face. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, shit. But, yeah, again, yeah, yeah. It's a... Uh, I don't know. It, it was it was, it was was interesting, for sure. And I... Uh, yeah, I can't wait in, like, 10 years for the Diddy mm. uh, documentary to come out. Hopefully not by Hulu. <laughs> Yeah, no. Better <laughs> they better. It's not. gonna be an hour. Yeah, right. Like <laughs> it's gonna be an hour. That's what it is. Diddy was born on this day, and now he's in jail. Like, all right. What? what a lot are we of doing? stuff happened in between. <laughs> and cut. All right. Like, all right, nigga. Ooh. Damn, yeah. Bitch. Yeah. My shit different. Uh. I stay glistening. They stay chasing me. I stay pivoting. Yeah. I'm positioned.